Hi everyone, this is Dennis with a great new product. My friend Greg has developed 123 Ready TV. It is an app for Windows and Android devices such as the Kindle or smartphones or laptops. Actually, I have it on my Kindle and I watch it every night. I watch TV series that I haven't seen before or I want to just see now or movies and even sporting events. It's only $19.99 and an instant download. You need to go to oldtimeradiodvd.com and see this amazing new program. It is a perfect gift for only $19.99. So go to oldtimeradiodvd.com today in order. This could be the best gift that you've ever given to anyone. Oldtimeradiodvd.com today. Get your instant download and start enjoying. You'll be glad you did at oldtimeradiodvd.com. Santa Claus won't be glad to get back home. How in the world are we ever going to get everything all built up again? And enough toys made by Christmas to give things to the children all over the world. Listen. Here's Santa Claus now. Ho, Dunster. Ho, Vixen. Ho, Prancer. Ho there. Ho. Hello. Hello, Santa Claus. Hello, everybody. Hello, Kent and Dee Dee. My, but I'm glad to see you. What a trip I've had. Well, how is everybody? Oh, all right. Say, you don't seem very glad to see Santa Claus. What's the matter? What's wrong? Why, the workshop and the storehouses all burned down. Kent, come here. Tell me what's happened. Oh, Santa Claus, it's awful. The fire started about 2 o'clock this morning. And we didn't sit until too late to put it out. We were all tired out last night because we worked real late. And with the sound of sleep, we didn't hear a thing until Jiggle woke us up growling and roaring. Well, how did the fire start? And how did it get from the workshop clear over to the storehouse? That's the worst part of it, Santa Claus. Fire started in the workshop first. We all went to work on that. The whales were blowing water on it, and the Eskimos were shoveling snow on it. All of a sudden, we saw lights in the storehouse windows. And Judy and I ran over and found fire started there and... And we saw the dead and he dog running away across the snow. And they were carrying torches and kerosene cans with them. Rodana and Wooda. Those bad little dwarfs have been threatening to make serious trouble for a long time. But I can't believe they'd actually burn down our buildings. But they did, Santa Claus. They did. And I know why they did, too. Yesterday morning... I was over by the dwarf ice cave, playing with the seals, and I heard the Dan and Rita talking, and they said that you were coming home today, and if ever the dwarfs were going to make the children believe there isn't any Santa Claus, they'd have to do something terrible right away before you got back, and they sure did it. But why weren't guards posted, Kent? Oh, Santa Claus, you know what a goofy little imp Diddy is. He's always playing jokes on me. And when he told me about Radon and Wooda, I just thought it was another one of his wolf stories and wouldn't even listen to him. Oh, it's all my fault, Santa Claus. No, it isn't either. It's my fault, too. But I'm going to get even with Radon and Wooda, all right. You just wait and see what I'll do to them while I'll... There, there, Dee Dee. Don't lose your temper. I know how badly you and Kent both feel. But we've got more important things to think about than getting even with the bad dwarfs. Here, Dee Dee, you take my reindeer over to the stables and give them the best dinner they ever had. You know, Dee Dee, we've had a long, hard trip, and they're just as tired and hungry as they can be. All right, Santa Claus. Get up, Dunder. Get up, Blitzen. Come on. Kent, you walk over to the igloo with me, and we'll see what's to be done. Why, Santa Claus, there's only a little over 20 days until Christmas, and we haven't any workshop, no tools. All of our supplies were burned up. And you know what millions of toys we need. How can we ever get everything ready in time? This is about the worst blow I've ever had, Kent. 
Oh, but crying about it won't get the work done. Let's see. Why, you can get elves from all over the world, Kent. Millions of them. And they are just as clever as they can be. You bet I can, and they'll all help, too. And Tigo, the polar bear, has been telling us for years how he is the president of all the animals and how all the animals will do whatever he tells them to. I wish you could have been on this trip with me, Kent. I don't believe I've ever seen as many good children as this year. And they're all looking forward to Christmas more than ever. Why, they'd never get over it if the bad dwarf stopped us now. And those children found coals in their stockings on Christmas morning instead of presents. Yes, that's right, Santa Claus. Let's have a big meeting at the council place. The elves will all come from all over the world. And Chigo will get all the polar bears and every other kind of animal to help us. That's fine, Kent. You call the meeting for tonight, and we'll find a way out all right. Those dwarfs haven't licked us yet, and they're not going to now. I've got to get some rest now. I'll see you tonight. to see so many of you here. You all know what has happened and what a big job it will be to get our shops rebuilt and a new stock of toys made up before Christmas. There will be plenty of work for every one of you, and I know I can count on you all. No help. help. You bet you can. Kent, I didn't know there were so many elves in the whole world. You've done your work mighty well. Now tell me what all these little fellows can do. They'll tell you themselves, Santa Claus. Nemo, we are carpenters, and we can do all kinds of woodwork. We make everything from little wooden whistles to big doll houses. And we'll work all day and all night, Santa Claus. Well, that's just great, Nemo. Who else have you got, Ken? See all these elves in the green suit, Santa Claus? They're mechanics. Quinto, first we'll make all kinds of tools for you, and then we'll make trains and airplanes, sleds and bicycles. Dolls that cry and talk. We make animals that move just and growl just like real ones. We'll pick up lots of new toys that you've never heard of before. Fine, fine. We'll certainly need lots of toys. Now, how about the paint for these things, Kent? Got that all fixed up, too. See those elves dressed up in all the different colors? They run the northern lights. So, Ben, tell us about your game. We make all the colors in the rainbow, Santa Claus. We keep them hidden in our cats, and we can swing our brushes so fast that the wind from them makes big storms. We'll paint everything you make all bright and shiny. Why, Solveig, your gang has so many colors in their coats, they look like an explosion in the paint factory. Now, Ken, what's next? Well, here's Mitchy with all of the elves that sold. We'll need clothes for the dolls and uniforms for the soldiers. How about it, Missy? We work with whale bone needles that fly like the lightning. We'll get fine silky moss for the doll's hair and thick fur for the teddy bears. And Santa Claus, we never get tired. Well, that seems to take care of the clothes, all right. But the first thing we must do is build our workshop again. Where's Gigi the beaver? He'll cut down the trees for us. Why, Gigi, you can talk faster by flapping your tail than as though you could really talk. What a lot of fine, strong beavers you have with you. You see, Gigi, we're going to need a lot of lumber for the workshop, just as fast as you can cut it down for us. <coughs> Why, Chico, you ugly old polar bear. You look so white down there in the firelight. I thought you were a big snowbank. 
What's that you were saying? Oh, what a great idea. Chigo says the good Eskimos will rebuild the workshop and storehouses for us out of blocks of ice and snow like their igloos. They can do it while we're getting our material for the tools and the toys and everything. But well, that'll save a lot of time, too. By the way, Kent, how about our metal for the little tin soldiers and the iron trains and all our tools? Well, the little gnomes will take care of that for us. They work underground all the time. And they've promised to get us all the iron and tin and copper we need. <laughs> oh, Santa Claus, Tigo says the moles work with the gnomes underground. And they'll bring us all the metal out for us. That's good, too, Kent. Oh, but we've forgotten all about the cakes and the candy. We can't have Christmas without them. Oh, no, we haven't. Chigo will have the bees bring us honey and sweets for the candy. And the birds will bring us grain and flour to make the uh, bacon. Well, we seem to be getting everything in shape now. You know, for years, the bad little dwarfs have been trying to make children believe there wasn't any Santa Claus. And that's why they burned down the workshop and everything. On my trip this year, I found more good little boys and girls than I ever found before. Why, do you know what they were doing? No, 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 no. Why, I found the boys shoveling coal and cleaning sidewalks and running errands. And the girls taking care of their little brothers and sisters, helping their mothers with the housework and everything, without even being told they had to. Why, they deserve more presents this year than they've ever had before. Santa Claus! Oh, Santa Claus! What is it, Dee Dee? What's the matter? What mischief have you been getting into now? Well, I was just hiding on that big snowbank, waiting to throw a couple of snowballs at old Chico, and I heard a noise on the other side of the bank. Say, you better leave old Chico alone, or he'll pick you up and spank you. Now, what's all this about a noise you heard? Well, I peeked over the edge to see what it was, and they were just running away. Who was running away, Dee Dee? And what of it? What are you so excited about? But Santa Claus, it was Regina and Buddha, the band dwarfs, and they heard everything you said, and they know all your plans. They were muttering and scowling, and they're going to do something terrible. Radana and Wooda, and they heard all our plans. That means trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 